spawning in the lower right hand corner we have our first Protoss player, Protostitude, who is a gold level player. And let me just say right now, let me, well, let me get my pew pews out of the way. Pew pew! I'm docking you 10 SFL points, which don't mean anything, <laughs> because your name is hard to pronounce, and I feel like you chose this name however many years ago just to annoy me. Come on, Protostitude, it's not even that clever. Anyway, uh, gonna let that one go. So, I'm just gonna call you Prostitute, because it's easier. And in our upper left-hand corner, we have Seg, I believe. Uh, it's pronounced Seg, I don't know for sure. We'll do our little pew-pew here. Pew-pew, pew-pew! And there you go. PvP, what can I say? Anything can happen. Not just because it's PvP, but also because it's, you know, bronze to gold. And in the lower leagues, uh, you're not confined as much to build order. The difference in skill is um, variable, and, you know, with one player's more skill, they can win pretty much doing whatever. I mean, not anything, but skill is definitely the important factor. Once you get, the higher you get, once you get to the pro level, um... It, it all becomes about uh, build orders and balance and stuff. But that's just not the case at the lower league levels. So sometimes some of the most fun games to watch are those lower league games because anything can happen. If one player does something wacky, it doesn't automatically mean he's going to lose. Both players sending scouts in. Seg's scout gets um, almost dies. It's running away back home. Prostitute still has a, a probe in Seg's base. So, I'm not sure, I mean, he know. I don't know what he's getting out of this scouting. He sees the double gas, uh, he sees the gateway, no expo yet for either player, they're not going forge, expand, or anything. Cybernetics core coming down for prostitute, uh, so he's going to get that started a little bit early, earlier than his opponent anyway. I'm not really sure what the double gas is for. Uh, he doesn't even have a cybernetics core yet, and he hasn't assigned any workers to those uh, gas mines yet. No units in production either. Cybernetic core finally coming down. This probe still unchecked, just going around and around in circles. No one's gonna stop him. We have a probe leaving the base from Seg. So we're gonna see what he's up to. We'll check on it, uh, in on him later, but first we have, uh, I need to cue up the Benny Hill music, which a lot of you probably aren't going to get that reference, but, I mean, this probe is just going around and around, and once in a while, <laughs> Seg sends another probe out, like, okay, try and catch him, and it... Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> I shouldn't be allowed to sing. This zealot, <laughs> the zealot has been tagged in. He is now chasing this probe around and around. You spin me right round, baby, right round like a record. Okay, <laughs> I said I was going to stop singing and I didn't. Uh, Stargate coming in. Finally, this probe is going to die. The stalker should be able to take care of it. The real question is, does he see... That Stargate, very risky because he might have seen it. Let's have a look here. He did not see it. Of course, Prostitute has his own Stargate. Sending a Phoenix out here. Not really sure what the Phoenix is for. Another Phoenix on the way. I guess he's going to try and lift some probes maybe. But um, Seg does have a Stalker, so that Stalker is going to be able to do something. He could lift the Stalker with one of the, one of the Phoenixes, but... What good is that going to do him? Um, cancels the Stargate. That's a very odd choice. Decides to put down two gateways instead. He can't see these phoenixes right outside of his base. He's put down a natural. This probe just sitting here waiting for further instructions. Deciding he's not going to be useful in any way, shape, or form. No upgrades, no four. I don't even think there's any forges. Okay, a forge is coming down for prostitute. Three phoenixes. He finally decides to move in. He lifts the probe up. He's going to try and get some probe kills. He does get some. 
so that's not bad. But uh, the stalker is going to shoo them away. And uh, what kind of damage do we get done here? Five. Five workers killed. Okay. Not bad. Three kills for this one. One kill for that one. Okay, four kills from the phoenix. I think he just popped off another one there. I don't know where those probes thought they were going to run to. They can't outrun a phoenix. He leaves one behind. Sends three more somewhere, I guess. <laughs> But um, Seg has a nice little stalker count built up here. He's got five stalkers. So those should be able to easily repel these phoenixes in the future. Of course, not if he doesn't actually keep them up by his mineral line. And he's learning that lesson the hard way. Workers killed up to eight now. He really should move these stalkers up here to his mineral line, but for some reason he just refuses. Got a couple of zealots on the way. They're not going to be able to do anything. Maybe harass the natural a little bit, but what are they really going to be able to get done? Nothing. I'm surprised we don't even see uh, uh, cannons, a uh, forge. He's not moving these stalkers to his mineral line. I keep saying that, but it seems like the obvious move to make. Zealots coming in here, going to clean up some more probes. Lots of economic damage being done. Stalkers being moved down to deal with these uh, zealots, but the phoenixes now have free reign. It doesn't even matter anymore. GG. Sorry, Seg. Prostitute has defeated you. But the score is still even in my book because I had to take points away for Prostitute's terrible name. So join us for match two. Thanks.